Today I'm going to show you how to do the Spratt's head stitch. This is the stitch that is on all three birds on their beaks. And this is from my pattern, A New Day. This stitch is not in a lot of embroidery books. I did find it in this one, the A to Z of embroidery stitches. I don't sell this book, but you could find it perhaps in an embroidery shop or on Amazon. I think I bought mine on Amazon. So when you look at your um, applique templates, you will see that I always include the beak on these. So the whole bird, you've got a foundation here to do your stitching. The first thing I did was I do it this direction. And you can see I've drawn a faint line across there to mark the base of the beak. I have a number 22 chenille needle threaded with a silk and pearl number five, which is the thread that I've called for in my pattern. So to start out, I drew my line with pencil, a regular lead pencil, so that maybe you can see it a little bit easier. Um, it's gonna be completely covered, or should be completely covered, but you could use a chalk pencil if you're more comfortable with that. I'm gonna come up right here at the end of the line on the background fabric. I'm gonna go in back down right at the point of the beak and take a tiny stitch. In the book, this is called A, B, and C. C is where it comes out. Now as I pull through, I actually want that to lay over on the side like this, the side of the beak. Now I'm going to cross over there and I'm going to come down on the outside. And the first few stitches are a little bit tricky just because you want to keep it lined up. I'm going to pull this first one a little bit tighter. Okay, now I'm just going to keep repeating that. I'm going to come up right next to this one and put your stitches very close together. Again, I'm going to pull that up to the outside. I'm going to say it's much easier as you get going. And then again, I'm going to come in right below where my very first stitch was, and then right back out, again in the background fabric. By doing it in the background fabric, it will cover the wool underneath. Then again, we're gonna come down here we're going to go down on the line. And you can see it's a little bit wonky. I'm holding it with my thumb there to keep it straight. And then back up on this one. Now the bottom ones we're doing right on that line. And you want to get them really close together. If you end up with a little space right in here, don't worry about it because as you can see, it's gonna be covered over by the cross stitches as you come further down. So you just continue this to where you end up with this beak that's nicely covered. Um, just go slow, put your stitches very close together. 
You can see on the edges how close they are. And they will, you could keep doing a few more down here if you wanted to cover up even more of that. And that will cover your beak very nicely. That's it for today.